This OK Office Systems is being used for a tutorial. I have the instructions in the worksheet. It's posted on the class website. Uh, and I have instructions down here that you can see. OK, first one here, highlight and merge and center text in row four. And I should say through column H, OK? And I'm going to merge and center. It is bold now. It's going to be again. And then what I want to do here, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. It said B, D, F, and G as currency. The data here. And I'm just going to B. I put down the control key. D, F, and G. And I'm going to format this as currency. C, E, and H will be percentages. Control. Percent. Add a decimal point. Next thing here, I want to make cells A5 and A9 bold. Use the control key again. It's bold. Now I want to indent these cells here, highlight these three cells. These go over here. This is increase indent. That way you don't have to type a space here. Next thing I want to do here. I want one thing I didn't put in the instructions, which will be online. This should be wrapping the text. So I wrap the text here. Center, bold, easier to read. I want to do the retail price here. So we're marking things up here. I put this pretty um, explicitly in here. Uh, we're marking this up 50%. So it's equal the price of this plus the price of this times the 50%. That is here. Now we're going to copy it down. I'm going to show you a trick. Black cross here. This is blank. Just delete the contents. It's easier than copying and pasting and going nuts. If you've got those railroad tracks, you know what it means. The next one here, we want to do the sale price. It's going to be $713 minus 15% of that. So it's equal minus... Parentheses are not always necessary. In this case, I would probably do it because it makes it easier. This times the 15%, close the parentheses, copy, pull it down, again, just delete, fix the col column here. We want to know how much profit is. The profit is the sale price minus the cost. Equal sale price minus cost. Pull it down. We want to know what the percent profit margin is on this. What the percent profit margin is here, that's the profit amount divided by the cost. And as I said, I put this instruction here at the bottom. So it's going to be the profit margin divided by the cost. Check 27.5. Delete. There is an answer sheet that you could click on to see that. Try to do it on your own before you click on the answer. But if you see something that looks really strange, you know what I'm saying. Good luck.